I lied to you. You see, yesterday, I asked you to describe yourself to someone on a first date, but we're not doing that video. We kind of bamboozled you because our counsel, our terrible counsel, took your answers to this question and played matchmaker. Using your answers, they paired you guys up into lovely couples or maybe throuples. I don't know, I haven't seen these yet. I don't know what we're getting into, but I'm really looking forward to getting invited to all of your weddings. So let's see some couplings. This person would simply say virginity magnet on a first date. That's just your opener, virginity magnet. But what would your partner say? I've had like 100 sex. Don't worry. <laughs> Certainly something that someone who's had a lot of sex would say naturally. Now you guys can be turbo virgins forever. My name is Alexis. I can control the weather. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, I'm half wolf and vampire. <laughs> As you can see, oh no. And you can see, I'm a little quirky. Uh, shows glowing pink eyes. I change color based on moon BT dubs. Oh God, who did you get paired up with? <laughs> So I'm like, uh, hmm, well, uh, hmm. I'm like, uh, hmm, let me think, uh, hmm, uh, hmm. Uh, give me a sec, uh, hmm, uh. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good pairing. I feel like Sizz might be a little too much for a uh, panda mobby to handle. Also, I hate that the council labeled this file as Alexis confuzzles us all. Is this, is this like a My Immortal reference? Darkness, dementia, raven way. Re Sorry, just this next one comes from Re Re I need to pee. And their Twitter handle is Re Re I peed. And that's already a match made in heaven. Let's see what they wrote. I usually let my beta dates suck my, <laughs> suck my alpha toes before going out with them. Just so you know. All right, working with a foot person, fun. Mm. Let's see if we can find their match. The worst mistake you can make. <laughs> it's from, did you know that Pinky and the Brain are gay? I didn't. I didn't. As a as a huge Animaniacs historian and, and lore expert, I did not know they were gay. I also deeply hope that you share Re Re I Need to Pee's love of feet. I feel like that's crucial for the relationship. Could be a big problem down the road. <laughs> Your boy Dill Pickle writes, if you have boobs and are like a little nice to me, I'll do literally anything. <laughs> Sorry, just, just remember that this the question was, what's something you say to someone on a first date? That's all, let me continue. I've cleaned dog poop for a girl before. Let me be yours, Shardy. <laughs> Is Shardy like your cute little pet name? Because if so, women love that. All right, let's see if we can find your mate. Bruh, AKA Frogger Pogger writes, I'm the kind of person who collects my ex's clothes. So I have an excuse to go over to their house. <laughs> Oh my God, you two are destined for each other. I thought that sentence was headed towards, I'm the kind of person who collects my ex's clothes so I can make a little mini ex out of them. You know, like when you have too much dog hair and you make a little mini dog out of it. But this works too. Just a side note, this file was called booby creep. And what's creepy about that? Dude's being honest. Oh, what's that everything? My, my apologies. You know when you're trying to sleep and your brain decides to remind you of something dumb you said or did and you can't sleep because you're more trapped in an endless cycle of cringe? I'm the personification of that. Can we find your mate? I have 12k upvotes on our memes. Yep. Damn, 12k upvotes. That's a lot of internet points. Kink through the gold. <laughs> cringe loves cringe. Enjoy your many years of bliss together, cringe lords. <laughs> Benjamin writes, yeah, basically they <laughs> fuck. Found the crypto mansplainer. <laughs> One at a time, ladies. Hmm. Yeah, basically there are non-fungible tokens that are traded on the blockchain. It's gonna legit change the art and music game forever. It's all Ethereum based, so kinda hard to explain if you don't understand crypto. Great, now I'm hard. All right, Benjamin, let's see if we can find your uh, crypto match. This is from Brubba Bowie. Hey, I'm a sorry. <laughs> I'm a thesaurus, so if you're not a dictionary, we can't date. Yes, yes, crypto bro. <laughs> Meet astrology waste. <laughs> you're both repugnant. <laughs> a lid for every garbage can. My mom says I'm handsome. <laughs> and a good kisser. I shudder to think at what your match will sound like. Before I look, I predict uh, something incestuous. Let's see if I'm wrong. You know me, we've lived in the same house since forever. <laughs> T -t -t twin cest I'm, I'm jealous of this relationship. Oh, nice. The council labeled this family love. <laughs> mm -hmm. More couples. Let's make more dates happen. Let's go. Piece of crap man writes, I got 12 views on a YouTube video once. Yeah, I guess you could say I'm famous. Ooh, sounds like we have an influencer. Let's find you an influence. American Airlines once sent a cease and desist letter to me for editing their Wikipedia page. So yeah, I'm cool. Damn. Do you think that's true? I really hope so. Me too. Right? I want to believe, huh? That's like a, actually a great first date story. This is a claim to fame. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so disappointed if it's not 
that's true. I know, this is way cooler than getting 12 views on a YouTube video. What did you edit? There's a whole backstory here that I'm not getting. I wanna go, no offense, honey, you don't take offense if I go on this first date with this person, right? No. Okay, not at all. I gotta get the deets. This is from Mr. Prague. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm taken aback by a lot of these usernames. Uh, Mr. Preg slash iPad, I It's that shitty comic all over again. God damn it. Tucks hair behind ear. Yeah, I'm a proud owner of the <laughs> Oh no! It's a fucking flashlight. This is a children's show! That's right. Hey, y'all is supposed to be family friendly. Who'd you pair this creep with? Joe Rogan's nipples writes, registered flag. <laughs> Registered flex offender. I've never heard that before. That's genius. <laughs> yes, you two need to have as many babies as possible. I have nothing else to say to this. How do you top that? Misunderstood. <laughs> kind of like the Joker. <laughs> Just break that out over a candlelit first date dinner. All right, and the response? I'm Gabe. Come on, you couldn't find another Joker themed one? You couldn't You couldn't match two Jokers together, Council? Well, I'm a little disappointed. Let's see if this next one disappoints me. Timble McBungleweed writes this. Tell her I'm like the guy from the Big Lebowski, but never specify which one. Ooh, a fun little guessing game for her. Neato. Let's see what your match wrote. Hepatitis Mario. Call me Papa John because I've got better ingredients and better pizza. Don't ask where I get the pizza. <laughs> Why ew? I don't know what that means. I don't either. This one's a real enigma. Oh, I get it. You're both mysteries. You're both the Joker. I'm a simp. Yeah, we know. Shut up! <laughs> what a troll. I'm a simp. Super intense Minecraft player. So far, so cringe. Tristan writes, I have the highest temple run score in my neighborhood. Ah. I want to get with Tristan. <laughs> Move over, Minecraft. I'm a temple run enthusiast. I'm a purist. Temple run gamers are way more intense than Minecraft gamers. There, I said it. I'm sorry. But once that baboon beast starts chasing you, pressure's on. Scarier than a million creepers. Also, I don't get Minecraft still. Yeah, I haven't learned anything. But temple run, I get. I'm kind of like that mustard that you find in the back of the fridge after seven months. Really weird looking and extremely disappointing. Listen, mustard takes years for it to go bad. I would know. There you go, see? So Tortoise already has a very high confidence level. Let's see if we can match that. I'm just a silly little guy trying his best. There you go. Low standards, low expectations. You can't be disappointed. And somehow we still are. Shut up. <laughs> Physically thick. Mentally sick. It sounds like a sign you'd hang at your home right next to the live, laugh, love sign. Vaccinated, caffeinated, and freshly masturbated. Ugh. Thanks, Glacier Dew. Cool, you guys can spend an eternity in hell making more fun little rhymes to each other like that. Oh, nice, and the council labeled it rhyming pals. There you go. Isn't that fun? I would say I take more care of my Jordans and my mental health because one, that's true, and two, that's true. You aren't Shaquille O'Neal, I'm leaving. Interesting, both of these people have very high standards, which means they're both destined for disappointment forever. It's tragic, it's really sad. I just got it, I just got it. Jordan, Shaq, I, I literally just got that. What can I say, I love sports. So I'm kind of a shower shitter. This is confident honesty. If only the rest of the world were as honest as you, Max. Let's see what your forever partner has to say. Sticky, like really sticky. <laughs> Again, the question was describe yourself to someone on a first date. And your first go-to word is sticky. I have a feeling both of you will be um, shower shitting for a long time together. And that's beautiful. I'm a lone kid in a trench coat trying to sneak into an R-rated movie who needs to find another kid so they can stand on my shoulders and I look taller. You down? Let's see if the scheme works. Mom said we only have an hour, so let's eat quick so we can play for Fortnite. Oh my god, it's a thruple. Can we hurry this along? My mom wants me in bed by 7 p.m. Love at the kids table. Good news. It sounds like you guys are finally gonna see that R-rated movie together. Your parents love you. They just take you. Oh no, they knew I was far too delicate to see any R-rated movies before my 21st birthday. I think you mean 24th. Shut up, I'm trying to be cool. I really like the thought of someone saying, can we hurry this along? My mom wants me in bed by seven on a first date. I really like that thought. I don't like the um, the mom said we only have an hour, so let's eat quick so we can play Fortnite one. I'm the guy the neighborhood watch signs warn you about. So nice to finally meet you face to face. I always wondered who that guy was. He always looked so cool in his trench coat and big hat and lack of face. I'm the guy that stares at you from across the street every day. Oh my God, soulmates. Council, pat yourself on the back. You did it. You found the perfect couple. They can stalk and stare at each other for the rest of their lives. Let's wait for the matchmaking plane. Oh no. Oh no. I'm not your typical girl. Makeup? What is that? 
OMG, look. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just so random. <laughs> See, I told you I'm not like the other girls. <laughs> you baka. Wow, is it cringe in here? Let's find your lover. Oh, I'm just a little... <laughs> I'm just a little scrunkly, a scrimblo, a Phoebe Boba, a scrimbly bup kiss, a skiddly wop do baba, a scrumbunctious little guy, little dude, fucked up and evil. Oh cool, and your avatar is even doing this, as I imagined you, uh, as you said that. You guys can absolutely marry each other. Can we just make sure you're spayed and neutered first? Oh nice, that was the last one. Honey, we have a lot of weddings to go to in 2022. Yes, we Enjoy your newfound relationships, everyone, and don't forget to wrap it up. Hey, if you liked this video, please subscribe and check out my community tab where I give you guys new questions and prompts all the time. Let me just make a face for the thumbnail. You don't have to do anything with this editor. This is just for me. Leave your answers in the comments below. I'll pick my favorites in the next episode of Yai. Also, click right here to see the previous episode. Ah, uh, here's a clip! Design the official flag of the Super Bowl. <laughs> it's just a picture of three different types of brain injuries. What if the Super Bowl was an anime? Let me stop you right there. Ads!